my, 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 Gemini, what is going on? It is you and I, my dear. It is me, it is she, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time, my dear. So let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April. It is 2020. Show me the money energy. Yes, God, baby. And we are back at it again. One time for the remix. Shout out to all my babies who has clicked this video. Shout out to all my new Gs. Ugh. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to everyone who has clicked this video. And um, I want to give a big shout out to everyone who has been sending love, like, and support to the page. We got some new decks, you guys. New decks. New decks. So some of them you might have seen already. Some of them you might not have seen. So right here we have the um, Modern Witch uh, Tarot deck. We have the Starseed Oracle deck, as well as the Circle of Life Tarot deck, which are all new. Thank you so much to all of the bookings, the um, love that you guys sent through the Amazon wish list, and um, all of the uh, support and love that you guys sent through the Cash App and the PayPal. We're also going to be using the Archetypes Oracle deck, which you guys might have seen, but the majority of these decks are new. I'm taking it back to the old school. Y'all know how I used to do with... Um, I used to read with like seven to eight decks. So I have about eight decks here on the left and the right side of me for on both sides. I don't know if you guys can see them all, but let me see. Let me move this here. But we will be um, pulling from other side, whichever side that I'm feeling like spirit is moving me to. So I just want to um, do as we always do, do a quick uh moment of thanks and give you know the creator acknowledgement and thanks before we get into any you know reading clarification or any type of energy you know vibe going on so father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign in gemini thank you so much for keeping us um pleasantly patient and we're awaiting our blessings father god we feel like we have all the resources that we need we got our head up we're staying lifted and elevated in happiness and love and light father god we're making positive good decisions towards our blessings we're just trying to maintain and just stay focused and just being lighthearted and positive father god so we just thank you so much for that blessing and abundance please give us our daily bread today and every day we thank you so much for our focused steps ahead of us father god um we thankful for right now where we stand so um and we're understanding a lot we're totally totally understanding a lot we understand the purpose of us having to be still at this moment so father god um just give us guidance for today and every day give us guidance for the sign of gemini for april and um thank you so much for all the blessings in the past present and future amen amen so let's go here oh let's get right on into that circle of life i don't know why i'm feeling the need to do this but it's like that the steering wheel driving or something like that Something like your chariot, driving your chariot or something. That's what I'm kind of getting right now. It's like keeping your hands focused on that steering wheel. The death and then the world most definitely. That's why I was like, where are we going? Where are we going, Gemini? Listen, ashes to ashes, death to death. You have closed a chapter and you have most definitely been traveling. That, that totally... Makes me understand why I was driving. You guys are moving. And I'm talking about moving. Moving fast. Okay. You guys have. And like the Bible just popped up. The Bible app just popped up on my phone. It says encourage your French. So it's something about you closing chapters and moving on. And Studying your pace and keeping yourself emotionally fit as you're driving because it's something about if you were still and then I'm looking at personal happiness or personal healing up on my wall. So it's something about if you weren't focused on driving towards your personal happiness and your personal healing, if you weren't really done with whatever the hell that was in the past, I don't think that you could have really packed your shit up and been able to move along this way. And it's about the way that you're taking control in this situation, which is, you know, like I said, encourage your friends. So, listen, I got to pay attention to everywhere the Lord tell me to look at my eyes to look. Because for that to have pop up as from my Bible app, too. 
Encourage your friends. Okay. The Eight of Cups. Okay, so. And we got the Tower. And we got the Nine of Swords. And then we got the Sun. Okay, so. You guys still kind of have the tendency to emotionally move backwards towards something that is not safekeeping. It's not like a safe environment for you. Like, um, emotionally, I feel you should kind of be at a standstill right now because it's like God is trying to push you through this death cycle. It's trying to get you to the point where you will like tear this down yourself. You'll take, okay. You take it upon your own. You'll make the own decision, decision to destroy this and move on with your world and just like follow the path that nature is guiding you to right now. It's like every sign around you is showing you that a chapter is dead, is over, that it really needs to close, that you need to learn the lessons that you learn. And this is to someone she's like listen you might have a baby so you might have created some new life right now you know what i'm saying you have to tend to your children it's like you have to end this cycle so that you can focus on the newborn the new birth that you have in your life right now you know control of your emotions with this moon here you understand it's time to shed that skin, ash to ashes, dust to dust, and it's time for you to follow like where nature is helping you to evolve too this is where your spirit is guiding you. It's like, it's time to end this. But at the same time, the warning beneath you here is if you don't get your emotions together, whoever this man is, because this looks like a male energy that's like drowning in water. There's some energy. There's a male energy that's around you that is drowning in water. This person could be um, an alcoholic. You know, this person could be completely emotionally disturbing or might, or might be emotionally disturbing you, you know, um, that you keep moving backwards for. And the thing is, is that the lesson is over and that even if this person is still in a place where you feel like they're not emotionally mature to take care of their self or do something on their own or they're not fit or equipped or just like you know they don't give you the emotions that you need in general and for some reason you emotionally keep want to venture back there to find out why what's going on what's what's in this person's head god is listen that's why this tower Something that you really didn't see coming happen that kind of shook things up and tore down that foundation because if you you wouldn't have seen it any other way and that's why it's like you have to make the decision to cut it out on your own and like these are two major arcana cards like off the break you got two major arcana cards right off the back do you understand right off the back and what this is telling you if you don't make this decision on your own you're going to Continue to repeat the same cycles of you not being able to sleep at night, anxiety, worry, stress, you know, like you completely live it in a place that is not some place where you feel comfortable at, you know what I'm saying? Going to sleep with worry, waking up with worry, not eating, not really sleeping, not um operating in a high level where around your kids that you're able to really focus on them that you're able to focus on work it's like all of this drama and this chaos keep happening around you and it's like you got somebody you see how this person is taking the blocks and just tearing it down it's like every time you try to rebuild with someone it's like this person seems like they're intentionally tearing it down and it's just like why you know and it's not helping you shine it's not helping you vibrate it's like weakening you where you're not happy you're not being that warrior you're not you know able to like I said focus on your new life your new beginnings to shine you know it's like you're almost blinded in a way keep going back and if you don't make this decision of your own there's going to continue to be the shock and horror <laughs> it's going to continue to be this and that's why and, but y'all know that and that's why it started off major. Y'all started off real major because you know if you go back, it's going to be destruction again. You're going to be in the same, the same worry, the same stress. You already know. You know that this person is going to do the same thing. You know? You know God is going to continue to tear it down if you continue to not move forward and not be a warrior and see 
This is the sun and the universe. This is someone not seeing. Hmm. Let's go there. Give me guidance for my Gemini. But you started off big major, baby. I'm talking about big major. <laughs> big major. Forgiveness. It's that stop focusing your energy on past events. For life is too precious to wait. You create reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Forgive this person and let them be free. Amen. 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 Don't forgive them for them. Do it for you. Set them free. Because some people are going to continue to repeat the same pra uh, practices and cycles because they can't do nothing but be anything more than what they are. You understand? You understand? So, like, now, I pulled out my runes for me. You know what I'm saying? And I just left it there. But I feel like I need to read it to you because at the same time, I really do feel like maybe it was just like a precursor to what this um, reading is about. I can't, I'm not even going to try to like <laughs> say the alphabet. I'll get, I guess I'll try. But what is this? This represent, this represents sacrifice, reward, like your tenacity towards change, being disciplined, lessons learned. You know what I'm saying? So what this is trying to get through to you, it's like there's certain sacrifices that you have to make and able for you to move forward and, 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 to, and to be the best for you. So the sacrifice is like you having to shed those old skins, lessons learned, sacrifice, cutting somebody out, completely just being done with it. You know what I'm saying? Facing the darkness so that you could come to the light. Sacrifices. Having tenacity, continuously continuing to go. You see, I, no matter what's going on, no matter what's ending around her, she's still suckling her chest. She's taking care of her babies. She's keeping her emotions together. Boom. Okay, come on, Father. Do you understand? Because you know that a new chapter, a new beginning is coming. You've learned your le lessons learned. That's that's what the, 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 the world means, lessons learned. Lessons learned. It's time to move forward. It's time to move on. But it comes with forgiveness. This right here, it means aid. It means growth, solutions, communications, signs, inspiration, enthusiasm, speech, true vision, powerful words, successful. You know? So, again, that goes into that forgiveness. Speaking those powerful words. Father God, I forgive this person because, you know, God protects Children and fools. And maybe at some point in time I was a fool and I didn't see. So I forgive myself and I forgive them. But I have lessons learned here. And I'm willing to walk away and sacrifice something that is no longer for my better being. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right. This represents right here. This represents mankind. This represents your purpose. This represents intelligence. It represents the conscious mind, creativity, your skills, your ability, your self-identity. If you wouldn't have went through this, you would not have even known the strength that you had to pull out that depth card and to end it and say, I'm willing to sacrifice this on my own for my betterment. Because if I continue to do that, only thing that's suffering is not only me, but every mankind that is around me. You know? In the reverse, this card... Not, I mean, but in this card, you know that that means going back to something that is unfulfilling to you. And then you got the tower right there. This in the, in the reverse, it represents isolation. It represents rejection. It represents misunderstanding. It represents not fitting in. So at the end of the day, if you don't forgive this person and make this your own purpose to do this and change this chapter for your own self, you're going to continue to go back into a place where it is going to be destruction. Look at this person tearing up. Look at you clinging. You clinging on to this foundation this person tearing this shit down and you're like why this means isolation this means not knowing your purpose you know what i'm saying misunderstandings not fitting in no matter how much you're trying to keep going back to this person who is emotionally disturbed did this person is doing this to you guys you don't fit in here you don't fit in here. You're the one that is this. You know what I'm saying? You have to do this for your well-being, for your bank time, for your growth. It's about you learning. Like we said, the lessons learned. Lessons learned. We said that from the beginning. It's about making a sacrifice with lessons learned. That's what that depth card is. Because at the end of the day, it's about our, our ability to show our skills and everything that we learned through this situation and call that depth and end it on our own. 
everything that we went through in this point, even this point right now, is to teach us our purpose. It's to teach us our purpose. And at the end of the day, when this sun isn't shining right here, listen, don't ever drop your purpose, baby. But when this sun is shining right here and it's not shining correctly and you don't know your purpose and you keep going back to something that is beneath you, listen, you limit your gifts. This means gifts right here. X marks the spot. This represents your gifts. This represents union. This represents positive contribution this represents philanthropy balance trade generosity you understand when you don't when your sun is not shining and you don't know your purpose and you keep going back to things that are beneath you things around destruction mayhem and and, and giving to someone that can't even give to themselves and is destroying everything around them you can't continue to gift you can't gift yourself to anything that is not shining anything that's not shining if there's no sun around nothing on this earth can grow do you understand? This means gift. But God can only give to people that see and that know their purpose and that see their strength. Look, look, look. That see their strength. That you can have all of the gifts in the world. All of the gifts in the world. This represents this right here. Represents romantic partnerships, gifts, unions, positive contributions, philanthropy, balance, trade, generosity. In the reverse. This and Listen, in the reverse. This represents bitterness, overgiving, stingy. You understand? What does it say? Unwise partnerships. That's what it says. Unwise partnerships. God help me. That's why these rooms was it because I was just like, why do I just leave it sitting here like that? So I want y'all to see the rooms again. I want y'all to see the rooms again. I want y'all to see the rooms again. Again, it represents tenacity, sacrifice, and making the best moves towards change for the betterment. You understand? This means aid. This means growth. It means solutions, paying attention to the signs, seeing the true visions, speaking your truth. You understand? This means your man. Kind. This means being intelligent and knowing your purpose and using your skill and your ability and realize that everything that you had to sacrifice, you know, and all of this growth and all of this stuff, it's because, you know, you need to know your self-identity so that you could truly be in receptive energy for your gifts so that you can have like purposeful unions, you know. Once that you give and you use your gifts and they give it back. Otherwise, if this is in the reverse, it's unhealthy unions. It's where you're giving too much of yourself. You know, unwise love partnerships. You know, being with people that are stingy. People that will leave you feeling insecure and bitter. That's what this means. So, come on, runes. Come on, runes. Yes, father. Let me sit, let me sit her right there. Let me set her right down, girl. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. I love green eggs and ham, girl. Let's get into she. Let's get into we. We get into the tarot again. Okay, like Gemini is like, baby. Okay, look, the sun in the reverse. And Gemini is like, real reds. I'm really not happy. And that's why all of this stuff is coming out. It's something about being locked in that house and not really being able to see the daylight. It's like, I realized that I, I'm, you, you right. And it's, y'all are telling me right now. It's like, you're right. That bitterness, they're saying shame and unhappiness. Like, I'm tired of living that. They're telling me all of this stuff is correct. Okay, girl. Knight of Wands. Look at you, girlfriend. Yes. You like reds. I'm about to get it popping. As soon as we get the fuck up out of here, baby. I'm the fuck gone. Listen. What you... She said, go ahead and put her right up here. I will. I will, girl. Don't listen. Listen, girl. Yes. Gemini. <laughs> Look, Gemini or her shit. Gemini is like reds. Look, I literally got chill bumps. Y'all is on y'all shit right there. Y'all is saying Queen of Wands. Yes, ma'am. Queen of Wands in reverse. I have not been as passionate and as driven as I normally 
can be and it's because that they've been trying to hold on and keep going back to this unhappiness and being faithful to something that wasn't faithful to them listen this hangman in reverse if god would not have put them in a situation where they had to sit down and really see things for it is for what it is and they're saying utilize my skills look jim and i already know what the fuck it is you already know what the fuck it is. Jimmy, I said, utilize my skills. I could not get the fuck down off of this bullshit. And it's time for them to finally get down. Like, they see things for what it is. Like, they really do. They really, really do look the Knight of Cups. They're ready to move forward and, like, offer themselves to real love. Like, they're tired of being hung up on this old shit that is not... That is literally bringing them bitter, bitter, bitterness, like unwise unions and unhappiness like they they're not doing that they're not doing that come on <laughs> uh, come on girl give me one card and then they want to go to the archetypes too gemini said bitch give me all gemini said bitch don't don't do me reds give me give me all of them cards with extra butter you got it miss gemini go on that's my bitch see me and gemini have this love hate relationships because y'all hate it when i be having a real into y'all ass but when shit be going good and y'all get in your element i'm never going to not tell you anything that i would never tell you anything wrong I just be needing y'all to get into y'all shit and just see what y'all be doing to yourself sometimes because it's everyone has free will you know what I'm saying everyone has free will to make their own decisions it's just like y'all gotta stop letting people pull on y'all like that cause y'all will get down and y'all will start cat fighting y'all will get low on the nick <laughs> y'all will you know what I'm saying like y'all will fight to the bitter end and it's like don't allow anything or anybody to allow you to step outside of your life like that because you are a warrior and when you use that energy in a good way like you you guys are so good you know what i'm saying forget this motherfucker and let this bitch go along that way and drink themselves to death if that's what they so choose that's not your energy that's not for you to worry about you know what i'm saying let them let them do their thing listen lost land so uh, y'all might have lost okay let me see. It said lost lands, soul, memories, and gifts. You've done this before. Yeah. And it says big picture thinking. So it, basically, it's like you guys have been in this situation before. You guys have done this before. And it's no need to continue to repeat this energy with the same shit, different toilet. Say it with me. Same shit, different fucking toilet. You understand? You might not have been in this same situation with this exact person, but you've been in this same situation with other people. And it's like, I'm tired of this shit. I'm completely done with this chapter. And it took this last time for me to finally be able, again, with the hangman in the reverse, to see what I was doing to my own self by the company that I was keeping and the situations that I was putting myself around. If God would not have took me, listen, with this hangman right here, if God would have not have took me and and, and, and and grabbed me and snatched me out of my own way, I would have not been able to see why I've been in this, you know, non-active, angry. Because I feel like this is someone that's been angry and spiteful and kind of, you know what I'm saying? Just not in your best place. Like, you know when you're in your best place and you're, you're in a place of happiness and you're offering love versus when you're not in the best place where you're not receiving love and you're not one of your most happiest lovey dove you y'all know what the fuck i'm talking about gemini you know what i'm saying like you've been in this place before this is already lost lands that you've already experienced this bitter travesty before so it's like it's no repeat of that big picture thinking you know be a visionary. Be inspired. We're walking into a new dimension. Do you understand? You're walking into a new gates right here. This is big picture thinking. We're leaving all of that emptiness, all of that bullshit, all that unhappiness, the fuck alone. That shit is gone. Remember, we went through this shit and we sacrificed this time for the last time to really walk through those gates. We're no longer like playing on the playing fields of lost lands. We're walking into the big picture. And that looks way more beautiful. That lost lands is like... Like, mm -mm. we've closed the chapter to the lost lands because that's where that unhappiness was. That's where it was. We're not losing no more. We play to win. We don't play to lose. So let's go right here. Give me guidance on the picture thinking. 
Okay. So they're telling you it's time to boss up. What is this here? Listen. The owls. People are watching you. People are talking. You know, it's like people are curious to see what your next move is. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like for whatever reason you talk a lot of big shit. <laughs> You talk a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? So, it's time to really walk. It's time, listen, it's time to put them big boy panties on. Them big girl panties on. Had a big dick energy. You understand what I'm saying? It's this time to walk it like you talk it. You know? This key right here. I don't know if you've been asking for a key back. Or you've been trying to apply for a key. Um, Like, some, it's like, some way... And you might have also been looking at, you might have been searching or seeking like a, like your boss or like a, you're going for, I don't know why I feel like someone's seeking access to their supervisor or something. Why do I feel like someone's seeking access to their supervisor? And it's like they've been looking and been spying about like what a boss or a supervisor like I don't know where they're going or where they've been having access to or I don't know why the fuck I'm getting that like where the fuck did that come from? But I also feel like you've been talking big shit like big boy shit and. About oh. About acting in this romance in a letter in the secrets and the writer. Ooh, is someone fucking with their boss? This something different. Ooh, is someone fucking with their boss, Slim? It's like someone has been. It's like other people is watching you having access to the supervisor because it's like. Some type of messages where someone is expressing love and it's like some secret or something like that. And it's like some secret. Like a secret lover. I feel like people might be talking about this shit. Because it's like you have some type of key to some doorway or to like the, the boss's office or something like that. Jesus, Lord, child, let me put this down. Let me mind my business with that, y'all. My, listen. <laughs> listen. Listen to me, Tonita, girl. No, ma'am, Miss Pam. I don't know what y'all doing. I don't know what y'all doing, girl. What's going on with this archetype? Is that the crown? Ooh, this is the witch. Yes, that is the witch, honey. That is the witch. So... I oh yes. Mm. Why do y'all always be getting some shit about like casting spells or some shit in regards to Gemini? Cause they did just tell me that it's like trying to put some type of. I don't know if this. I feel like this is how you got into the lost lands. Cause the the. The crow, the crow holds all of the secrets. It's like secrets. And that's what's been keeping you covered in this lost land. Like some type of like low vibrational witchcraft or some type of. It don't even necessarily have to do with witchcraft. It could do with just like using trickery and just manipulation in a low vibrational way to like gain access. It's like. To gain access. To have some type of control. You know. And then there's spying. And then there's like gossip. Like you know. I'm serious. That's what this, uh, this, uh, this unhappiness. And all of that stuff like that. And it has something to do. The, the, the writer is like. A lover. Like showing up somewhere. Like someone popping up and you know what I'm saying like a visitor you know like <laughs> messages like love messages like a lover secret listen love the secret messages someone expressing love like a love thing a love thing like 
it's like using your power to gain access and control and manipulate people and it's like very secretive even you know it's like very secretive and like and then the moon represents cycles and things like that. And even the crone, it is the the maiden, the mother, and the crone. So it's like this is the third cycle. So this could mean like you guys realizing that y'all know what this is. If this resonates with you, it does. If it, this part doesn't, it doesn't. But lessons learned, like sacrificing whatever this energy is that it is with you you know what i'm saying where it's like you've done this before you've already know what this got you before and i feel like this this time is ever you bet your match or something like this this one was this one was the one the maid the mother and the crone like you know now you know what i'm saying you should have a certain type of wisdom now where you know as above so below what comes to the dark comes to the light no secrets can really be unfound by the universe do you understand so you get it this time and you get again a sun in the reverse the sun in the reverse you get what breeds your unhappiness and how to use your energy in a a, a right way to move your energy passionate and move it forward and to move it prosperously and to like leave aside and shed your old skin of what this used to be with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because this came out for a reason and y'all know why that came out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know why that came out. Give me guidance on the death card and the world card and the um knight of wands. So we got the priest and the size. So it's like you guys are trying to I take that as like the high priestess. So it's like you guys are trying to have more faith and have more structured way, you know, and trying to do things like the right way like I don't know if y'all try to go back to church and stuff like that and try to do things like the old fashioned biblical way or something but I feel like for some reason it's something about that that is like um it's like alright I guess you know what I'm saying <laughs> like it's like really having to change who they are and, and trying to like live with some type of old fashioned values like with that knight of wands I feel like this person like lives fast or something like kind of lives the fast life what is this the widower so I feel like it's like you are having to kind of listen to old fashioned values and things like that that's what you have to kind of put it in and put a depth to Moving fast, moving f too fast with people, ma making it be an all about sex. It's like you got to have some type of spiritual p principles, some type of spiritual values. And it's like I know that you're sighing because you feel like that shit is boring. Like I ain't trying to be going to no church where no niggas will be talking about church. I'm not saying that, but y'all have to have the same spiritual principles and the same wants. You know what I'm saying? Or it got to be within you because if the only thing you want to do is with this Knight of Wands energy, you want it to all always be about sex, then that's why because you're not having that type of old-fashioned values and things like that that's why you always be sitting there sighing being a widower by yourself because it's like you're not you're you you going to to instead of instead of really trying to date and get to know someone and trying to see if this is someone that you can marry marriage material it's like something about you where you're not acting like marriage material especially if you're a female you understand what i'm saying and that's why you keep it up being a widow or like every relationship like i said the the maid the mother the crone you've had this is like the third time that you've gone through this and i don't know if you've been sleeping with supervisors like trying to sleep your way to the top or like you know, or just do a manipulative thing to gain access to some like type of power and control and people watched you do this. Yeah, prison. It's and it's like a prison to your decision, a prison to 
whatever type of way that you were moving because it's like you're by yourself you're a widower and it's like you feel like you're locked in with like not a lot of resources you know what i'm saying and you might have a lot of fancy clothes and a lot of fancy materials but at the end of the day it's like you can't go nowhere with it you can't do nothing it's like you could barely go outside and be among the living almost you know what i'm saying it's like being trapped in a house where you are looking at memories of the depth of past relationships you know what i'm saying so i don't know why i'm uh, i'm feeling like that's children or something like sometimes i feel like this is someone that is like they're in a mental prison because they're having to look at the faces of maybe children that look just like their fathers more than that looks like them you know what i'm saying and it's like that's why they're sighing it's like you know what is this yeah misfortune in the letter and yeah It's like, oh gosh, why is this deck going here? It's, it's, uh, watch your children and stuff like that. Because I don't, like, please make sure that you're watching your children and things like that. But, um, because I don't, I don't like how that fire is right there. If someone having to call, like, the fire department and stuff like that. But it's basically, it's like, more communication of, like, misfortune and just things that it's like that you don't like but it's because you're not seeing the ways of your own it's not false imprisonment it's it's it's, it's a reflection of decisions yeah the enemy falseness foe thief young woman cheerfulness Waiting, jolliness, pleasure seeker, the merchant. So listen. Adios, <laughs> mijo. So, full circle. You have to stop creating enemies by sleeping with the enemies. You know what I'm saying? It's like. You don't realize sometimes ever you're being fakeness and like, you know how like a cat, they seem, they'll rub up on you real quick and they'll seem nice and you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, I don't trust cats for some reason. I don't trust cats, you know? Um, it's something about rubbing shoulders with the enemy, being false. And trying to play cute with them even though that they your foe. And that these people are stealing from other people and bringing it to you. It's like, so it's like, in the way that these people are moving, how would you expect these people to be anything other than what they have exposed or shown themselves to you? It's like, these people have already showed you how they move. By the way that they treated other people. But it's like somehow it's like you still allow these people to come in your environment and think that they wouldn't do the same thing to you. Do you understand? So it's like you can't help someone create enemies or do a, a, a what are they saying, a dastard, a, 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 what am I saying, like a bad deed. You know what I'm saying? You can't help someone steal or do something and create foes and, and create enemies. It's like whoever you were dealing with, it's like you kind of help them do something bad to other people. And it's like you were the younger woman and y'all, you see how this man is celebrating with two women or something like that. So I don't know if you were the younger woman and it's like, I, I, feel, I really do feel like this is, this is this shit. This is this shit. You're the younger woman, and it was like, you helped this person either steal or hurt from somebody else, or you knew that the money that they were spending with you, they were taking it from their family or something like that, and it was like, you, I don't even know if you, uh, 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 but it's like, you just, you sitting back waiting, why this person, look, look, gallivanting, listen, you got the joyfulness, the pleasure seeker. You see 333. Three, three. So it's like for somehow this person was like the third. Was like the third. And with this merchant here, it's like they could have easily been like 
paying and giving to them and like paying for you know not in like financial ways all the time but it's like yeah you know what I'm saying like like buying this person gifts buying this person drugs buying this person alcohol because like I said this person has like an alcohol or substance abuse problem or something like that you know what I'm saying it was like they were playing with the enemy but you seen the falseness and the fakeness with this person because you seen what they did to this other person you know what I'm saying and at the same time, you've created foes by dealing with this person who ended up being your enemy, too. Because this person still dipped out on you like a thief in the night. And, you know, even though that you were a younger woman and this person seemed like, oh, everything is OK. Everything is OK. You know, but it's, you still he's still keeping you waiting. Still keeping you waiting while this person is out enjoying themselves with other people and they men being a pleasure seeker. You know what I'm saying? Being a pleasure seeker. Taking whatever they're gaining, and it's like a circle of life. You you see what I'm saying? Like this person, this 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 person is looking for the highest better, the merchant. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is this person was never a friend to you, and this is the circle of this life and this situation. This person is looking for the highest bidder. They may be a janky salesman. Whole time you think that they're selling something to you that's going to bring you a lot of joy and everything. But this person is the enemy. Everything that they're saying is fake. And for real, for real, they're the foe and they're a thief. And you're just a young woman and they're going to sell you cheerfulness to keep you waiting and everything. And they're going to sell you a lot of joyfulness and propaganda and make it seem like they're a pleasure seeker and everything. But at the end of the day, like I told you, they're just selling you fakeness. They're a thief. And after you, it will be the next young woman. And then the next one. 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 Do you understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like, you can't ever help someone like this hurt someone else to think that they won't hurt you in return. You understand? Because this is their cycle of life. They're a pleasure seeker. They only care about joy and frolic. And like I said, Knight of Wands. You know, I don't know if... This is the Gemini, this is the person around the Gemini, but still in the same. I already did just, okay, Alice in Wonderland. I said y'all wanted all the text, so y'all already know. So what's going on in the center of this craziness? Everything is like circled. I don't know why I even did that. The eight of spades, so this is like um, mental prison, like feeling restricted and things like that. So the more and more and more and more that you kind of feed into this energy, the more and more that you will be in restricted and imprisoned in this type of unhappiness and being bound and feeling trapped to someone that's not giving anything. Keep allowing this thief to sneak in and out of the window and waiting. And for some reason, you are allowing this person, because this is the merchant. The merchant is going to sell you whatever you want to believe. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's going to keep you from true marriage. Because remember, the priest is right there. The priest is trying to show you a better way how to. And I feel like this is dangerous, dangerous and it's exciting because pleasure seeker and all this, you know, it's all of this stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it keeps leaving you lonely. And this is something that you, it's like this person is in prison. It says, you balanced an ill on the end of your nose. What made you awfully so clever? Because you've been through so much of this bullshit. Do you understand? That's how you got so skillful at doing, at balancing people like this. And being trapped in this type of, they're saying infirmary? Wow. Isn't an infirmary like, oh my God. Misfortune. In, in, in an infirmary. So that's what it's about, ending this this toxic cycle. Do you understand what I'm saying? And especially if there's anybody that be messing with their boss, like, please, my dear, please don't be doing all of that shit. Y'all y'all already know the tea gonna come out. Y'all already know the tea gonna come out. Y'all already know. Because what, what did they say that this shit was? The Lost Lands. Land of the Lost. You know what I'm saying? What is this? The Three of Diamonds. Yes, this has something. Okay, so let me see. It says there's nothing... But hey, left now. Exactly. Like there's nothing left. So the three of diamonds, this means like putting, letting, letting somebody else get into the profit. You know what I'm saying? That should have been shared between two, but it ended up having to be break, broken down into three, like a third investor. Do you understand what I'm saying? And like when you allow other people 
to entangle yourself in a love affair or you allow to entangle yourself in a love affair you can't be mad if you're the one that's left out do you understand what I'm saying do you understand what I'm saying okay there's nothing left now but hey this needs to be equally split up and divided a month, two, not three. You understand what I'm saying? And if it's a situation where you're going to be included, then it needs to be contracted into the agreement from the door. You understand? So that you don't get cut out of the profit. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's never going to be fair if you continue to do that. So let's get me some over here on. I want something on the sun. The king, all right, yes, yeah, the king of diamonds, and then give me it says the horror of that moment I shall never forget. So, basically, what they're saying the sun in the reverse, the thing that made you <sighs> the horror of this moment I never forget. I don't know if this person is smaller that you've been dating, smaller or, or shorter, or smaller than anybody that you've ever. It's like you see how she can like pick him up with her fingers or something like that. I don't know if you're used to dating bigger people, but you thought this man was going to be a king of diamonds. You thought that this person was going to bring you financial success and victory or was knew how to have financial security or something. And it did not bring you the happiness. It was something about this person that you did not see with this being in the reverse. Excuse me. With this son being in the reverse. The horror of that night, I would never forget. The horror of that moment, I shall never forget. So it's like, I feel like you realize, don't ever, like, deal with someone based off of you feel you feeling like you're going to get some type of financial gain because you can never really see what the end is going to be. And I feel like this person regrets that. And it's baby's a third party situation and it's like you it, this trap imprisonment and you ended up how to balance a whole bunch of fuck shit. Spades are not good cards. Spades represent mystery, problems, frustrations, loss, sickness, suffering, you know what I'm saying? Debts, um, roadblocks, you know what I'm saying? It, it does not lost victory. Spades are never good. Do you understand what I'm saying? What is this? The Jack of Clubs. So what it's saying here is it says their heads are off if you please your majesty so what this is basically saying is you have to continue look the heads is off if you please your majesty when you decide that it's the end and that you want to be done with this shit god said their heads is off if you please it can be done when you want it to be done you have to really show God in the universe that you're done with this chapter and you're ready to move forward. Do you understand that jack of clubs? That is someone that wears their, the, the, the badge and the level of their honor where they work, where, where they're working for. It's like God is saying that this is what you really want to do. This is what you really want to work for. You really want this shit to end and you ready for a new chapter. So I need you to look tattoo my name if you if if, if if you if you're real about it. You know what I'm saying? I need I need to see you wear that ass on your chest. You know what I'm saying? That you're ready to be superwoman and you're ready for change. Clubs represents work. It actually means like work. You know what I'm saying? Actual work. Being stable. Being active. Active. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to show me action. I need you to wear it on your chest. I need you to be proud. I need to see it. You know understand what I'm saying? So it's like their heads are gone if you please. All of this shit can be over and we can surely go into this new thing. But you had to see what the Lost Lands was in full circle in order for you to truly make a de decision. You know what I'm saying? That's why this whole thing is about a choice of the Lost Lands. You know what I'm saying? Look, she blew out the damn candle. She said, bitch, I'm done. You ain't got to tell me no more. Because I'm not about to keep in getting the short end of the bargain. You know? It's like someone being trapped, not able to, look, someone feeling trapped and not able to go nowhere and just learning how to be strong at balancing more bullshit. And it's like, no, I'm not going to continue going through this misfortune. I don't want to be in no third party. I don't want to fuck with no fake ass king, someone that is small as a motherfucker trying to act like they big dog. You know, and again, it says the horror of that moment. I shall never forget. Exactly. Fucking with a fraud, a thief, a scam, a con artist. Listen, this is a con artist. This is a scammer. A con. A con.
con and pulled me into this con and, and helped you make enemies. You know what I'm saying? And it's like in misfortune, it got you tangled up in some shit that it wasn't even for you. When at the end of the day, I know how to move action forward. God said off with his head. And it's time to get into this new world. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. It's time to focus on the beautiful, beautiful babies, baby. Gemini, it's been your reading. I am Scorpion by several. You said you wanted the full Monty, and I gave it to you. And you know I'm going to come with the truth. Look, y'all got rooms. Y'all got, <laughs> got everything. Listen, I love you, baby. If this resonated, remember that strength. Remember the strength. And at the end of the day, let me tell you something. I ain't nobody perfect. I can't never say that I ain't did no dumb ass shit or never put up with no dumb ass shit. Ain't nobody motherfucker perfect, but we go through everything that we go through to create perfection. Pressure creates diamonds. Okay? Pressure creates diamonds. As long as you can reflect and respect yourself at the end of the day and say, I done got the fuck down. I ain't allowing nobody to put me in no situation where I'm mad and bitter no more and getting in my own way, baby. I'm moving forward and I'm good. Emotionally stable, okay, baby? Bitch, I done pushed the table. Hey, Amen, bitch. Okay, we shaking the table. We about to hit Gemini. I love you. Love yourself. Amen. Peace.